hi, and uh, welcome back to, to the Resident Evil We Make Chris Part 6. You, you may or may not have noticed that we died. Did we? That's it, that's all I gotta say about that. Brian's dead. We ran out of things that had Brian in it, and now, oh. now we all died. That's just what happens. Everybody dies. Oh, that's what you meant. Never mind. What? Nothing. <clears throat> it's fine. Are you? It's did you just go fine. Super Saiyan? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was squinting suspiciously, but I had to have a sound effect for it. So, uh. is squinting suspiciously, I guess. That's that's what that sounds like. Anyway, apparently we're going to fight the Crimson Head to get the other key in the Book of... No, we already got the Book of Curse. To get the, the medallion. To get to the other half of the map. Oh, oh, we're getting... Wait, we're getting a book? Is it the Thievius Raccoonus? No, it's not the book. It's the medallion. We already got the book. Oh. They're just in the same exact room. <sighs> Wait, was that you? What? That gulp? Maybe. Yeah. I did move where my microphone is. Okay. <laughs> and I did drink some water. <laughs> so, it's not not impossible. I was like, is that the game or is that... <laughs> it's dramatic water drinking. Atmospheric water drinking. Yeah. <laughs> it's just the noise Chris I... makes when he runs down the stairs. <laughs> He's just like... <laughs> ah. <laughs> uh, yeah, put... Oh, I think I tried a thing here. I intentionally, I believe, do the masks in a different order than I did in the Jill run, but the chains still come off in the same order. So I was upset. Oh. I wanted to see it smack into the ground head first. <laughs> <laughs> because I took off the top supports, but no, it had to still do them in the same order. Imagine Ow. if that was a mechanic. Damn. You could damage the crimson head more. <laughs> <laughs> you could prematurely it kill it if you do the top chains. <laughs> and it just slams head first into the ground. Goodbye, brain. <laughs> I also don't understand what the fuck that chain is even doing, but okay. Speaking of brain, <laughs> uh, in my we we were actually were talking about this earlier in the playthrough, but um probably in between this session and the last, during the little bit of free time I have had in the last two weeks, I've been replaying The Evil Within. Oh, and no, I don't uh, think we were. No, we, we definitely mentioned it before. We were definitely talking about it because sometimes we just bring it up. I mean, <laughs> it's it's Resident Evil, but not as good. Disappointing. <laughs> it had it had I feel like it had a lot of potential in Have parts. you have you played or seen the DLC? No, cuz I still haven't. <laughs> Oh yeah, so you I haven't been the main game. Finished. Okay, so <laughs> the main game, the story is so like almost non-existent. Yeah, I mean, I know I got to a point where it's like the partners in the fucking like bathtub full of ice, and I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot you were in this game. I thought that was a different game. <laughs> <laughs> nope here here you are. Thanks for showing back up. He dies. <laughs> Yeah, I think I got to the point where he died. He dies in, like, the most nonchalant way. And it's weird because later on, Sebastian is just like, Oh, Joseph can't be dead. And then you never see Joseph again. It makes it seem like, oh, we're gonna find him again. Something's gonna happen, but no. Oh, yeah. I, the doorknob broke off. Oh, I gotta go <laughs> all the other way around. Yeah. Anyway, I started doing New Game Plus. I, I just beat it on Oh, hard. God. I beat that game on hard, and it was a fucking Why? nightmare. Why would you do that? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. You, do you know what the difficulty after hard mode is? 
I thought it was a nightmare. I think we've talked. Well, nightmare? About that. No, nightmare is hard. Well, then what the fuck? Akuma, Akuma, Akuma difficulty. Demon. Demon. Yeah. You die in one hit. That is okay. The game's <laughs> already stupidly hard. No, it's not even stupidly hard. It's just things hit you that shouldn't a lot of the time. I mean, My I was biggest... just frustrated by them all being fucking bullet sponges. Well, I'm, uh, you need to level up your your crit rate. <laughs> I was! <laughs> I mean, I don't know That's what why I was getting you. mad! It's like, I kept putting more and more points into the fucking thing, and they're still soaking up ammo like I'm shooting a goddamn BB gun! It I mean, took forever. To uh, get what, the actually, no. What guy. you should what you should have done is fully upgrade your harpoon bolts for the crossbow, because while the harpoon seems to be the most useless, once it's fully upgraded, it just sets enemies on fire, uh, which is an I, instant kill. I remember kill. vaguely having the harpoon. I mean, it's um, the best weapon in the game. Yeah, I. I don't remember a lot of details, except Creepy Spider Lady just seems completely disconnected from the fucking safe head guy. Discount Pyramid Head. And big old Chainsaw Man. They, they, they seem like they're not even the same game at that point. I mean, that's, that's fair. Most of the enemies <laughs> don't mean anything. Think, things do kind of just happen. Anyway, I'm playing on New Game Plus, and that game is so much more fun once you're completely fucking overpowered. I would think so, actually. <laughs> like, everything just falls down. You unlock brass knuckles once you beat the game, and you can just go walking around punching everything in the face, and their heads just explode. <laughs> so... One of the stupid things with Deadly Premonition, since that's the game that I'm editing right now, still is enemies are never very hard to kill, but if you melee them, it's almost always one hit. <laughs> and there's, since I did all the side quests, I can tell you, there are a shitload of invincible melee weapons. That they, they never break. <laughs> oh. And some of them were rewards for things that I didn't even realize that I should do, so I didn't get them until the end. But I had a weed whacker, <laughs> which fucking plowed through everything. <laughs> and it was hilarious, and I'm like, man, I'm mad that I got this so late in the game. This would have been funny. <laughs> but it's very interesting when you're walking around with literally thousands of bullets because the game gives ammo to you for looking at it. <coughs> Ow. Don't die. And then instead I'm just smacking things with a crowbar because it does more damage. <laughs> so. What? Huh? That's what it is. Oh, oh, I think I said before, that game also has the, the, the contender for world's worst flamethrower. Yes, we'll you, you mentioned that before. I'm just so baffled by it. I was excited to get a flamethrower, and then it was horrible. It's good on literally one type of enemy, and then halfway through the game it stopped working on that type of enemy, so I just switched to the fucking machine gun. Oh. <sighs> well, that's another thing you unlock for beating the main game. You get a fucking machine gun. Crows, don't attack me. Anyway, I mentioned the DLC and the evil at the end. The DLC... Go it, it completely oh, well not completely it kind of ignores what happens in the main game. You play okay. as uh, you play as the girl Kidman. Yeah. And she's working for a uh, 
a, a, a secret underground uh, uh, agency called Mobius, and they want to take control of the 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 machine that has you linked to Ruvik, the serial killer guy. Yeah, the Renko killer. That'll make sense later. <laughs> <laughs> No, it won't. I, I don't know why he wears the coat. Well, I mean, I was gonna say it would make sense later, just because, in retrospect, he does look a lot like the guy from Deadly Premonition. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Except, you know, I don't think he drags an axe around, and I think his coat and hood is actually, like, tattered. Yeah, I know it is. But, you know... <laughs> Hoods are the new... Spooky. Metal object on the head. No, that doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> but there, is a, say, but there is a guy with a metal <laughs> object on his head in Evo Evo with it. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm like, no, that doesn't work. They did that too. Um, <laughs> hmm. Hoods are the new... Hats. Deformities. But no, that doesn't work either because his entire body is burned because he was in a fire. <laughs> I was just thinking because of the trailers for Resident Evil 8. Oh, I, um, I haven't been with watching the group them. Of the, the one group of girls, they all have hoods. Granted, you can see their full face, but... <laughs> but Although, a, I guess wait, also... You can't, the mommy... <laughs> the mommy vampire. Yes, doesn't... everyone <laughs> likes Dady Dimis. <laughs> Dimis. I, mean, I can spell I, it, I, just... I can't say it. I, d I think it's Dimis. <laughs> Dim I can spell it, I can't say it! <laughs> <laughs> it's too hard! Anyway, I only. Get rid of a syllable! <laughs> anyway, I only call her that because everyone else does. Yes, because everyone lost their shit. <laughs> And I'm just like, I mean, okay, she looks like she's, like, 60, but alright, guys, <laughs> you, you do you. <laughs> Not that I'm complaining, I'm just a little confused. But I do love when Capcom officially listed their, uh, her height compared to the tyrants that have already come. Oh no, she's... And she's, she's, like, she's taller than most of them. Yeah, no, uh, yeah, she is. Although... From what I've seen of her, it looks like she, like, uses the same AI as the Tyrant. Oh, it's not impossible. Which, uh. would, which I hope there are safe rooms you can run in and out of. And she just... <laughs> <laughs> it's one thing when the Tyrant mindlessly walks away and turns around. It will be another thing if she does. It will, because she seems like, you know, a fully sentient person thing. Um, uh, and tyrants does, do not. Ariel, the term is vampire mommy. I, no, I'm not <laughs> going with vampire until we know. Because <laughs> that seems too obvious. I mean, they drink blood. Still, too obvious. I mean, we, they're not, they're not, fan, they're not real vampires. Um, it's, at it's first, virus. though, before her, um, before her official height was revealed, I was like, no, I'm pretty sure she's not tall. I'm pretty sure Ethan's just on the ground. And I think it, it, it turns out it's both. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but, oh my is. god, I wish I could find it again. So, Facebook has this thing where you can do 3D photos sometimes, where you can, you know, move your phone around to see it. And somebody posted this shot of looking up at her fucking boobs in her face, being like, hey, hey, hey. And then if you turn it around, <laughs> you see this derpy-ass Ethan being just, like, squished to death. And it was so fucking funny, and I wish I could find it again. <laughs> Because I was like, all right, well, this is about the level of shit I expect from you degenerates. Let me see. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> this is so stupid. Oh. Hmm. 
That game comes out next month. Oh shit, does it? Yeah. I literally haven't been paying any attention except for the memes, because the ASEN group lost their shit about her. <laughs> no, uh, I, I saw a video of it come up in my recommendations, and I was just like, when does this come out? And I looked it up. Ah, shit. I think it comes out at the end of the month. Uh, let's weird, look again. Weird time. A little bit. <laughs> I think it was supposed to come out earlier. They delayed yeah. it. No, wait, I, that, that was a lie. It comes out May 7th. Oh. That's the day after I get my second... My second shot. Oh, cool. You'll be, you'll be sick, so you can stay home and play Resident Evil 8. I'll be dying! <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh, yo, which which one are you? I got I got Pfizer. A me too. A that, that's all that's all Kaiser has. Yeah. Um. So I'm very much spreading the meme of the whole West Side Story battle when you see someone with the other vaccine. Oh. And half of my friends got Moderna, including my brother. <laughs> but I didn't send him the meme before snapping aggressively at him. <laughs> and he was just like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Except every time I see Pfizer, I just want to say Pfizer. Well, I want to say Pfizer. Pfizer! That's what I want to say, which is not even remotely close, but... Whenever there's a silent P, it must be pronounced. Okay? I don't care if you think it should be silent. P really? is no. never silent. No. <laughs> I merely wanted you to think I would die. <laughs> God, if only you did. This was, this was all planned. I'm not bad, I'm a genius. <laughs> Don't fucking lie. I didn't know lying. <laughs> You're definitely not lying. I'm not making shit up. Oh my All right, god. Alright, Ariel, if that is your real name. Joke's on you. It is. Jokes on you, my name is Lord Grave Tricks. <laughs> <laughs> my name. Okay, hang on, hang on. Where is the thing? <laughs> we have to redo that game. Which which one? Snakewood. Ow. <laughs> we have to randomize that game. Because <laughs> there's a shitload of Pokemon you just can't get. And I want to know what their ridiculous Pokemon Pokedex entries are. I mean, that's fair. But do you really want to go through the fucking Battleship Five Quartet, whatever the fuck they were? If it's if Brian's there, maybe. I know that's asking a lot. It, it is asking a lot. Okay, alright, hang on. Alright, let's see. Don't look me down. The elevator let you down. That is what? that is the the Japanese pronunciation. I can I can do that. It's definitely not what it's it's Meant to be. Look at all those extra letters. Wait, how did they? How did they pronounce it? <laughs> Hang on. Yo, oh, come on. There's like ten seconds of silence. Lady Dimisku from the new game. <laughs> Lady Dimisku. There's, there's definitely like three extra syllables. I feel like. Although I guess it could be. Dimitscu. Does that name Dim mean anything? I don't know. <laughs> let's let's see. <laughs> Google's meaning of Dimitscu. Big vampire mommy. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I already have it defaulted to Italian, but... <laughs> no, that makes sense, because it sounds Italian. No, it's because I was looking up... <laughs> okay, have you watched um, the fucking... Internet Historian's Coast of Concordia video? Yes. A Concordia, Ariel. What the fuck ever. <laughs> I watched- I had somebody else before. Um, it- it may not mean anything. <laughs> um... Now, I- there was somebody else I watched before who went in more detail and played the entire phone call, <laughs> which I absolutely recommend. It's Bright Sun Films. Um, the Costa Concordia. It's um, Costa Concordia. It Fucking fight me. <laughs> Alright. Let's fucking go. But you gotta come Just here. Don't, don't punch me in the mouth. That's not fair. <laughs> At least not until I see the dentist. You wanna anyway, see the dentist though. before I punch your teeth then? Okay. Anyway, I was rewatching that one because the whole phone call is just, you know, a very angry Italian yelling at a very confused Italian. <laughs> um, and the whole Vada Aborda Caso is, um... Oh, God. It's... They translate as get back on board, fucker. <laughs> and then I googled it. And did the, that's why it was in Italian. Which they had it is get the fuck back on board. And I'm like, I feel like that makes more sense colloquially. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow, Google but, Translate did a good. Yeah. I mean, it happens occasionally. <laughs> Not often, but occasionally. That spider's but, fuming. Good. <laughs> Wait, did it just sounds weird? <laughs> what? Um, it acted like it was loading the next part, and I was like, "Why the fuck would I end an episode there?" <laughs> I mean, it still makes more sense than where, how Brian ended his parts in Doom. How about just in general? Yeah, that too. <laughs> Doom in particular was really bad. It's too bad no one will ever know because he'll never finish editing it. One day. Maybe. I wonder if he actually uploaded the part where he cuts it off like a minute early and the next part just starts in a different level. <laughs> I don't know, we'd have to watch the three fucking parts he has uploaded. <laughs> that sounds like a lot of a lot of effort. Yeah. Oh my god. Dios mio. Yes. Thank you for that. <laughs> I got you, fam. <laughs> <sighs> The fine. Wait, let me let me look in closer. Whoa, whoa. No, stop looking at the first aid kit past me. Although, yeah, you are kind of dying, so you probably need that. That broken glass on the cabinet it looks like a spider. A little bit. Ugh. But what does it mean, Ariel? <laughs> what does it mean? <laughs> I don't even remember what it's from! <laughs> it means that Lady Dibiscu is a spider! <laughs> She's not a vampire mommy. She's a spider mommy. I mean, let's be honest. It's not impossible that she's gonna turn into a spider thing. 
maybe more of an octopus thing because I mean, you know I'm pretty sure you gotta have some, tentacles. I'm pretty sure she'll turn into a bat. No, you have to talk about conservation of mass. She's too big to be a bat. It, a, a giant bat, Ariel. <laughs> a very big bat <laughs> that can no longer fly because it's too big. Ariel, <laughs> you, you should see Resident Evil 5. <laughs> At some point, I really should. There's a giant but... bat in that game with, like, a s giant fucking stinger on its butt. <laughs> it's... Uh, <laughs> should not be able to move. Tune in next time for... Oh, we're gonna get to what's-his-face. Whatever the hell his name is. You know, the guy. He, he'll he be there. Brandon? I don't know. <laughs>